Hi crafty friends, it's Tony P here and welcome to my YouTube channel today. Um, I'm very pleased to share with you um, another tonic showcase and this time this is all about Easter and eggs. Absolutely brilliant. Um, we've got a set of dies and we've got a set of stamps. I'll just talk very quickly about what we're going to get then we'll have a look at some of the samples I've made and then we'll put a card together. So go to the stamps first um, we've got three little chicks we've got a bunny we've got Easter eggs we've got an eggshell we've got a wheelbarrow a butterfly I mean it's just absolutely so sweet I'll show you very quickly these are the I've coloured these in and these are what we're going to use to, um, to to make our card at the end I mean aren't they sweet look at them absolutely beautiful so that's those the little carrot i fell in love with this little carrot and you'll see that in the uh, cards that i put together so really nice i've just put some crystal glaze on them so you'll get a lot of mileage out of those the hat and things like that you know baskets butterflies you can use those for all sorts of occasions and then our uh, set of dies you've got a basket and that's quite a good size. Let me measure that. I should have done that before. So from top to tail, it's three and a half. Uh, sorry, top to bottom, it's three and a half inches. So it's a decent size. And again, you can put flowers in that for different occasions. You've actually got two flowers on here. You've got a lovely bow, which would look nice on there. And then you've got um, three, uh, sorry, two, you can't count, two Easter eggs and some shells. You've got a banner. You've got a flag and you've got this cute little um, border here. Absolutely gorgeous. So um, without further ado, what we'll do now is we'll have a little look at some of the samples I've made with these. And I'll see you back at the end of the video and we'll put something together. enjoyed um, looking at those cards and I hope they've given you um, a bit of inspiration and some ideas for what you can do with this amazing little set. So now we're going to put a card together. What the pens I've used um, in this, I've used no coloured card apart from the, um, the mat on here. These are the new Nouveau pens and these are what I've used um, for all the samples that you've just seen and what I've used, um, what I'm going to use for um, this this card. So it's a little bit of a pop-up card and it's a card in three parts so I'll show you what, what we're going to do. So I've used the um, a couple of the dies from the, the set and what I've done, I've coloured this, this one here. That's been coloured with, let me tell you the name of the, I think it's Indian Indian Saffron number 405 and then I've cut um, the outside edge in white and then I've cut another outside edge and an inside edge um, and I've coloured those with spiced orange which is 393. They're quite nice aren't they and I'm just telling you a lie because I haven't coloured it with that at all. I've coloured it with 391 butternut squash 
silly billy so that's those and they're going to go on there i've cut um the smaller egg and i've just literally colored that with spice orange that's just a plain um just you know just sort of chisel end and scribbled over it that's that and i'm going to show you um a little trick on how to put um how to do a bit of fake faux paper piecing so what i've done here i've cut two um show you these i've cut two outside edges and inside edges and one outside edge okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to stick one of the outside ed I can't get my words out today an inside edge down to this um outside edge on here we need to try and not to get any glue on this bit here so let's just pop that on there give that a second and the one thing i didn't get let me just go and grab some kitchen roll you think you've got everything and then you find you're missing something so just to um mop up any last little bits of glue so i'm going to mirror the colors that i've used there and so i'm going to use um indian saffron and i'm going to use um spiced orange okay now let's we're going to use the bullet nib the bullet um the, the start again there's two ends to these pens so you've got your chisel tip and you've got your bullet tip so i'm going to use for this i'm going to use the bullet tip okay and all you do is you just color it now i know i'm going over the edges but it's not going to matter so that's those um let's do in here so get the tip of the pen right to the edges and as i say if you go over the the, the um the bit that you've stuck down it doesn't really matter because we're going to cover it up in a second uh let's do this one every other one just you don't have to be an expert colorer to do this and then this last one here okay and then we're going to go in with spiced orange let me put the pens out of the way we're going to go in with spiced orange now and we're just going to fill in the blanks like that like this like that let's make sure we've gone right to those ends okay so it looks a bit like a dog's dinner i'll, I'll grant you but we, we're going to stick this piece on the top so that's going to hide any of these um, you know little bits that where you've gone over the edges so it's going to look perfect so just let's stick this down a little bit of glue take off the excess and then we can stick this down on here and there you go a bit of okay oops bit of glue there just noticed How easy is that? It's a lot easier than trying to, you know, stay in the lines. And this is a good technique to use if you're doing things like um, if you're cutting. Do you remember the bees we had and they've got really thin antennae? Trying to cut round those is a nightmare. So if you just cut them off, stick it down, colour your bits and then cut another one and stick it on the top. It makes life a lot easier right okay so let's let's put this this is going to be the top of the card i'll tell you about that card in a second so we're going to stick these down so i want some i want some pads some foam pads and the scissors and let's put these on here sorry i've gone out of shot again let's put that on there let's put where will you go yeah that's what we'll do with that one so oops let's put a bit of a foam pad on the back of this one so i want that to stick up that side so let's put you there the old tweezers oh being the operative word they're nearly as old as me i've stuck that on the wrong side now what a dope 
let's put you there and just a little bit of glue, little bit of glue on there so it'll slide if it's not quite right and we'll put you like that and then this one I'm going to put like that so I want this let's make, see if I can get it on the right side this time over that side okay like that now I'm going to add a ribbon a little bit of a ribbon there and this ribbon started off in life as white but you can color your ribbons with your pens as well I think I use spiced orange for that one so using your chisel I'll show you how quick it quick and easy it is this is just a short piece to show you on a scrap of paper just get your, pe your pen put it on your ribbon and pull the ribbon and repeat until it's all covered okay and doing it that this way you know that your ribbon is going to match what you've put down on your card so i just need a little bit of uh little sided tape now to stick this down because I haven't put my hot glue gun on again. So let's put that there, like that. Off you go, that's it. You can also colour your gems, you can colour buttons, you can colour all sorts. So it's just get them out and have a play. So that's the first one and that's going to sit on there, but I'm gonna put that on at the end because I want to do the inside now. Okay, the next bit is going to be this bit, and it's going to go like that. Small um, little eggs from the dies, um, and I've just coloured them with um, different pens from the sets. And I've got a couple more to go on, three more in fact. One, it's a little box of tricks. Two, there should be a third one in here, and there is. So let's get those on here and we'll colour those. See how easy these are. What colour should we do? Um, should we do, let's do another spiced orange. So again, I'm gonna use the chisel tip. Literally like that. Let's have, um, let's have, ooh. Butternut squash, 391. Got oh, them the right way around. Whoops, a daisy. And more of the same. Two. And the last one we'll do in, let's do 374 Tiger Lily, which is like a reddy orange. It's really pretty. Round you go. That's it. And I've already um, stuck some down on here. So let's just add a little dots of glue there, there and there. I've marked out where they're going to go. And then we can just um, pop these on here. There's one. Two. And finally, this last one, three, that's that, that's that double-sided tape sticking to me. Okay, now I've gone ahead as well and cut a sentiment out and I've cut the backing. So that's the backing and then, which I've coloured in um, Indian saffron. And then I've just cut the sentiment out in white and I've popped um, some uh, dimensional foam on the back let me put a little bit of glue on I'm notorious for getting this in the wrong place and then that's going to go in the middle there it's about right and I'll just leave that to dry as well and we'll get so that that is going to go here okay we're going to deal with this section now we're going to make a pop-up and we're going to use these gorgeous little chicks I mean how cute are those now I've done a step-by-step step and in the step-by-step step, 
I go through how to colour one of these. So it's worth checking that out. They're a lot easier than they look. OK, so this is going to be a little pop up and these are our pop up mechanisms. I know you can do pop ups where you can sort of cut slits in the card and, and what have you. But me and um, craft knives, we, we, we're not always a good combination. So what I've done, this is my take on a pop up card here. This is two and a quarter by an inch and I've scored at half an inch. So that's one, two, three, four scores. And that's my little quarter of an inch thing there. I've just put some tape on that. So that acts as like a glue tab. And I'm just gonna fold that like that. And then if I can find my tape, I'm going to put a little bit of tape, not you, because I've not opened you. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on this section here where we folded it. And you can use wet glue as well if you want, but for speed, I'm going to do it like this. Now, these are going to go, can you see they fell completely flat? And that's what we want. So when they're down, when your cards close, they'll fall completely flat. But obviously they'll lift up as well. So the best thing to do, decide where you're having your little chicks. Put it down and make sure that you're not going to go past that fold otherwise your card won't shut and um, we'll have him here I think and we'll have him here aren't they cute oh they, I just think they're adorable okay so let's stick this down and I think what I might do first I should have done this first is put a little bit of glue on here and stuck my my little chick on there like so okay and then i can add that little bit of glue and i can make sure that he's not going to overshoot that center and then see when that's dry he'll pop up like that cute isn't he you will you will see on the back of these that the, the um ink will um it will seep through that's quite normal and thinking about it, what perhaps I should have done is um, stuck this down onto some white card and then cut it out. It's just occurred to me now. So let's take the tape off the next one. And let's stick. Uh, let's do him next. Let's do him. And he's going to go like so. Pull that flat, that's it, and we'll put him maybe a bit nearer to the back, like that. There we go. And then this little cheeky chap here, take the tape off again. Whoopsie, good job I put some uh, glue on that. There we go. Just leave that to dry. And I'll do the same with this little fella here. He's eating too much eggs, this, this one. He's absolutely stuffed. And then we can just fill that flat, fill those down, put you on there and slide you into place like so. So when you open it, they all stand up, aren't they? Oops, well, they should do. They should do. Let's make sure he's stuck, I'm not giving it perhaps quite enough time to dry there we go that'll dry in a second okay so all we've got to do now is stick our this card by the way 88 by 126 I will put all the measurements on um, below in the video in the description so I'm going to put you there like so let's see if I try and get it straight that's you Fills you there. Whoops, he's gone wonky. Close that. And then this is going to stick on our front here. This card, it's um, 92 by 136, the yellow. And the white card is 88 by 132 millimetres. Sorry, I work in millimetres. And then that's just going to go on the, car, on the front of the card like that. And that's our little pop-up card. I hope you like it. It's really sweet. And it's not that difficult, is it? So when you open it up, up pop the little chicks. 
if you can see like that they will stand up I'm scared to move them for the moment because they've got to, they've got to dry but that's that's it I mean what a lovely little Easter card they'll make anyway I hope you've enjoyed um this video today and I'll see you again soon take care bye